Hello everyone, it's Anna I have under data and we're back with another Wolf of Hanks review. And uh, I just felt like doing a video and I just looked through my what replays and I noticed I had a lot of good games in my Hellcat so I just thought let's just show all of them at once instead of making a lot of separate videos of the Hellcat. Because it's gonna get boring long right yes Hellcat here, Hellcat, another video, and Hellcat is gonna get a, a, a little bit uh, repetitive. So, anyway, I'll look at this thing, and first of all, I'm gonna say I'm bankrupt. My premium account went out just today, and now I'm bankrupt. But that's not the truth of the video, so I'm just telling you, uh, I had to sell a couple of tanks. Don't know which of them, but. He had to sell a couple of tanks. Um. Anyways, where's tank stores? There we go. And yeah, let's look at the stats. A five hundred and seventy-eight points. Um, it is pretty bad if you compare it to anything else. Like, what tanks has a little amount of hit points? The mediums. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any tier 6 mediums right now. Um, let's compare it to other tanks at uh, tier 6. Um, this 100Y has 580, and that's 10 more than the Hellcats. To Jackson, even, the, the same kind of 560. Uh, that's a lot more than the Hellcat. Wait, 560. <laughs> I was thinking 580 on the Hellcat, no, 5. It's less than Hellcat, and I don't know why, and I'm gonna go come to that in a second. 88, I expected this to have a lot of hit points, it's British, a lot of armor, a lot of hit points. Um, let's just compare it to one last, ARLV39, it's French, and it still has more hit points than the Hellcat, that's interesting. Well, this thing weighs 20 tons, and... Um, Pretty much 21 tons in with my setup, and that is pretty light. And it has a 406 horsepower engine, which is huge for this weight. It makes a very good power to weight ratio. And it has 72 horsepower, no, 72 kilometers an hour top speed limit. And pretty good 30 degrees of tra tra uh, traverse speed. And Here's why I think now yeah, Jackson should have more hit points. 12, 12, 12 millimeters of armor all around now gets hole. Well, it's 13 ones. I have no idea why they nerfed it. And the turret 76, 31, and 127 at rear. On this, mostly because of this thing. This is the 127 millimeters of armor. And uh, this Hellcat has. This thing has gotten nerfed a bit. The gun mantle. Look at the big cheeks are here. They were a m m lot uh, smaller before, and the gun metal was a bit bigger and covered more of the tank and it was thicker. <sighs> I guess they need nerf good armor. It's that fast. A very good gun depression. I think they nerfed the gun depression so much. It has 8 degrees, I think, but it's still pretty good. Um, 16 degrees of turret traverse and I think uh, not that thing I think this thing gets even worse no it's the same amount but that's horrible that's a horrible turret traverse 370 mm view range it was 3891s and that is that was a bit overpowered I guess for everything it was so, uh, so many good things and um, 378 just put behind us on it's perfect it's got 750 good radio and um, I'm gonna tell you something. I think you should. I think you. Th I think you should use um, gasoline. Either uh, 100 gasoline, 105 a, a cola, because that increases um, the turret traverse as well. And that is needed with 16 degrees of turret traverse, and you go a bit faster. Um, what I've got on my Elka in crew is 
camouflage and mentor because I I want my second skill to just get up quicker. Um you could put six hands there. Uh maybe I should have, maybe I shouldn't, but yeah. And let's go to the gun here. This one gun. There's only one gun you wanna use with and the cut and there is this night mill. The other gun you might want to use it's this gun. But they're two complete different guns. Um let's continue uh, start with the night mill. Uh, it's a ninety millimeter gun. Uh, it's American ninety ball two forty average damage. Seven point five re uh, wait rounds per minute. That's pretty good actually. And 160 millimeters of penetration. That's very, very good. And uh, 0.35 accuracy. Um, that lie, that number is lying. It's not. It's not true. 1.7 second aiming time. Pretty good. That's 1.51. It's nerfed the thing a lot, but it's very good. And this thing is just a DPM monster, but it has some. Bad things about it. It's a 76 mm gun. Uh, it's saying gonna see M4 Shimmy uses T29, Jumbo BCA T20, I think. All the same gun. 19.55 rounds per minute. That is quick. That's about 2 second reload. 128 mm of penetration. That's not very good. 115 damage. Nah. And the same here. And. Um, this is more for DPM, and this is for for the punch. I like the 90 mil. I want, I like the extra penetration and damage. Let's go over to equipment. Um, I use this thing. It's binocular telescopes, and has gun link drum just to patrol, and uh, medium ca uh, caliber gun rammer. Um. There are arguments instead of using binoculars, maybe use covered optics. But I'm thinking when you, if you want to hit, you need to stop and just increase that view range even more than it should have. We could have put medium and spawn line on it, maybe. Um, and but this armor it's not going to protect too much, anyways. And is there anything else? Oh. Well, I am gonna go t uh, go on to tank inspector if it works this time. I didn't last time, but I'm just gonna show you my service work with Cellcat. Yeah, I have I've had a good chunk of games set it. I think um I think I know one uh, how to play this thing. If you argue what I'm doing, 56% win rate, pretty good for almost 200 games. Um, 631. Average experience, it's decent, I guess. Um, but okay, let's pop up to tank inspector. Tank inspector, if it works now. We're in tank inspector. We're gonna look at the okay. Here. I'm sorry for the first issues. Issues. I don't know what is going on. I'm getting about 20 FPS or less, but that's not gonna change much. Um, it's a bit of glitch, as you can see. Using the uh, 9.0 I think was test server how it looked like a test server I can't remember but the turret is good but okay let's see the hole is 30 mm a second it's angled and it's going to give you an effective thickness of 13 okay well, I guess it's not done yet it's still old one armor I guess because it's 13 on round, as you can see, even angling won't change much. And this thing is, as you can see, it's pretty decent gun depression. It's American. Um, okay, let's. If this thing would be faced from the front, um, and uh, you want to shoot a turret front, and. As you see, there are different armor layouts in this. So you're gonna rain. I'm sorry. Um, can't tell you right now what they are, but you see, here in some areas, 90, 90, 130, um, 130. I think under the gun is a bit more. 
getting around 100, but it's not as good as it were before. Um, let's just go into snap mode and show you some areas of the turret. The armor thickness. Uh, okay. 93 if you fire and uh, not again uh, some very straight but it's there yeah, okay from above let's let's not care about that uh, things um uh 103 yeah this area here it is six is it's, it's pretty random armor layout and was oh, it 81 and let's look at these stats right here. Um, like the power to weight ratio, it's great. 22.71, that's Cromwell power to weight ratio. And I think if you would even put it, yeah, stock turret 26. This thing is a quick thing. Stock turret, but I don't know why I would want to use it. You can't mine 90 mil with that with the stock turret. Um, I wanted to look like it. it costs nine hundred and fifty thousand credits. Share price it's actually it's pretty cheap. And um Yeah, I think that's it I should show you show you right now, so let's just get into the replays. Okay, we're in the re first replay and as you can see from the teams, it's a, oh, it's a tier game and look at our top tiers. Every single one of them is very good. And yeah. And we're in Hellcat. Yeah. Um, with those people on the team, they're gonna steal all the damage, all the kills. How, how, am I, how are you supposed to do well in, the, in a Hellcat here? Well, I was born in the south, Burvanka. Uh, I'm going up uh, to this hill area where normally tanks are camp. They also camp uh, age 8 to 9 area, but nah. I'm gonna get in a bush. Um, I'm not gonna be one of those people who just rushes down. Uh, I want to do the, the, uh, this line, or well, this line, here. And I see an 110 and a plane are shining to his side. Fun fact, the 110's um, fuel tanks are located in this side. So I could set them on fire. This replay was a long time ago, I have no idea what how it, what happens. But let's, uh, let's look at what I'm doing. I'm trying to get a shot on that T31 and it's just sitting back there on and this, I'm waiting for him and there's a nice thing in front of me and oh T31 has, has appeared, ag appeared again and now nah. I'm afraid of that 12 T in town I don't want to get it by him because it, it will penetrate. He will kill me in one clip. I might get one, possibly two shots into him. And oh, that's a t that's a t that's what I can only see his machine gun. Oh, that's a Nashorn. I want to shoot a Nashorn and bomb. A very low roll there. Of 240, I did 280, 280 even. And there's a total T hiding behind that, so I'm just shooting away, firing away, destroying the cover, trying to get a cracking shot. Yeah, they, uh, you might get some of the Alka's inaccuracy in this game. It's just 0.3, uh, 3 point, point three five, yeah, but it's really about 0.39. It's incredibly inaccurate and that can get really annoying sometimes. Even though it's a 54 third win game, we're losing 4 6. We're gonna kill that 80 1 in a second. 
Five six. Six six, we pulled the pack. And as you can see, I am turning my hole just to keep up and I'm kinda of shot that eye is three side. And here's the problem, look at that aiming circle, it's humongous. I know it's five hundred meters, but it really is big even at close range. If you play Delcat enough, um, you know I'm inaccurate. And I found a glitch for this game. I knew I noticed it in game. Why am I binoculars in for here? They're supposed to be back here. But nevertheless, let's continue. Um, I've done twelve hundred damage so far. Well, twelve hundred and one. Ed. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's still tanks to shoot at. So move up here. Go back to base. Because they're gonna be attacking everyone on our team because look how good they are. They know what's gonna happen, and I guess the rest of them are just sticking together. I don't want to get left alone. And there's an ARL end. I thought I missed that shot, but yeah, I did the 237 damage. We hit the hit him at basically at the same time. And I think I get spawning damage for what I'm gonna do here. I think I'm shooting that out. So I would now at least. I can't even see that's and I hitting at that range where I'm aiming at. Yeah, I'm just gonna. S I have to read a fire here. So I'm just gonna be keep firing at that house. And there he is. For some reason, it's not telling me by now. By my binos are up. Yeah, everyone just waited for me to store the destroy the house. And I'm thinking, there's an ice three over here. V K over there. 85 nay spotted. Okay, when my UT 25 slash 2 and another ice 3 has not been spotted yet. That is the good player, I think. They're both actually pretty good. Okay, I've seen, we've seen one of them. Where's the other one? I'm rushing down here to get spots, and I have no idea what I'm doing, but if it's not stupid if it works, but. I have no idea what I'm right now. I sh I probably wouldn't do this. I have no idea what I'm doing. What am I trying to do? Charging a tier six tank through against a tier eight heavy tank. Oh, there's a V kind of open. Nah, no shots. Um, I'm getting to this house. I'm winning up. I'm waiting for my allies to catch up. Because I don't want to rush in an magical force of doom. Oh, Muravank alone. These other guys can't do that for me. Well, oh, there's an ISU. Yeah, they've got one that. This is a rate of fire. This gun. It, the damage is pretty good, but it's decent. But the rate of the rate of fire is amazing. And as you see, I have two rounds of AP left. I'm running out of shells. Um, there's an IS3 trying to aim for weak spots. I can't. I know I'm gonna miss a few shots. So I shoot there. Hit the turret. 1815. And let's try to shoot Kipola. No, yes, fire away. Only PCR rounds left. And there's a T25 slash 2 not spotted. He, well, at this point in time, I would say save. Okay, don't know though, he might be sitting in a corner. A0. Let's try to get a shot on this ice. Re. And, and it's almost dead. No, and this, I don't think I'm gonna finish him off. But apparently, I do. Okay, that's lucky. Let's get. I've got four kills, and these people on my team. And I'm gonna fi be firing APCR at a T25 slash two in a minute. APCR at a T25 slash two. That's a 
that's just stupid of me. I have five rounds left. Maybe if I just kept finding a way, I could maybe get the Phaedrus medal. But if you haven't noticed, I've killed three tier eights in my tier six. And that's a... Oh, I, can't, I can't remember the medal. But I'm trying to ram to death, getting some ramming damage, and there we go. That was my best game day. Okay, actually, let's look at the post game stats. And that's my game. And my okay, that was my first one of the day. And yet, metal was hello in this metal. And look at what I earned a master badge. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would have gotten a confederate if I just didn't kill everyone. <laughs> yeah, I killed nice you. Actually, yeah, I killed a Nassar and, and I, I, two ice three and an ISU, and I, yeah, they were all in the same clan. I guess they were. It doesn't matter, I just wanna. I guess I don't care. And. Just, just look at. Just look at that. I mean, tier 6 tank destroyer. Tier 8 team, I did more damage than I you. If you got a thousand spawning damage, even. Um, and 1415 base XP. Uh, because I fired a lot of gold <laughs> at the end, I lost a few credits. And I made 100,000 credits in 4,244 because that's a good game. Yeah, that's a good game for me. I'm, I'm not gonna be sad if I already oh, kill the T12 slash two. It's good enough. I think I did my, yeah, part in that game. Yeah, let's get on to the next replay. And we're back in with another replay. Yeah, one of those defeats. Top gun. Mm -hmm. High caliber. And first class mastery. Unfortunately, I didn't have premium. I would have earned 1500 experience, but. I did my job there. I'm pretty sure. But. Uh, I did get experience like it was my. Uh, like it was a victory because I got top gun and high caliber, but uh, this jet that I got seven kills. I could have killed him. I could have killed him or her. Don't know. It's called a tank girl. I could have killed it, but I didn't. Nine, ten thousand credits and thousand experience, and it was a good game, but. I just won that last kill. I got too greedy and I paid for it. And there's another thing, a thousand XP. Three hundred and forty six. I did my punching in that game and uh, I just can't believe it. <sighs> and that was your last replay for the LCAT. I hope you liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye.